Yep. Yes. This meeting is being recorded. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the January 16th meeting of the Contributor Summit EU planning sessions. Welcome. Uh, as always, a reminder that this meeting is recorded and also that we abide by the CNCF code of conduct, which boils down to be excellent to each other. So today is uh, also a holiday here in the US. And so we don't know what attendance is looking like. It's a little lighter than it was last week, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go over to the doc, which I'm going to paste one last time into our chat for anyone that has missed it. Uh, Bob was nice enough to paste the old planning doc into our chat for 2020, back before we had uh, a global pandemic. So we're going to take a quick look at that. And we're going to get started on the agenda. So, starting at the top, uh, please put your name in into the agenda. Uh, do we have anyone new today? Anyone joining us for the first time? Hi, this is my first meeting. Welcome. Do you want to give an intro, or do you care? Sure. Uh, my my name is Madhav. I help around with a few things in the community. Um, this is my first Contributor Summit planning uh, meeting. I do some work with Contribex uh, usually. It's, it's nice to be here. Awesome. Welcome aboard. Anybody else? Also, it's also my first time here. I'm Akshit and I, I'm just really interested in the stuff you do here. So I am. Uh, this is my first time joining, and I am yet to contribute anywhere. But I just felt like listening in and seeing what it's like. Okay. Welcome aboard. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Anyone else? Okay. Well, uh, as we mentioned, this is the Contributor Summit meeting for planning the Contributor Summit in Amsterdam in April, uh, starting off at the top again. Uh, updates from the leads. Uh, we have gained a couple more leads. We still have some roles that need to be filled. Um, we have, uh, Xander has volunteered to take the lead on the celebration again. Uh, thank you to Xander for wherever he is. And uh, Kim McMahon has volunteered to lead the SIG meet and greet. Um, I have suggested she touch base with Josh on that. Uh, we still are up in the air with who is going to lead Reg. I have spoken with a couple of folks about it. They are hashing out the details. And I expect that by this meeting next week, we will have Reg leads, which is good because we need to get Reg up and online as early as possible. Um, we also are still in need of a lead for the ops team. That is the day of uh, helping run the events, staff each individual room, make sure that room moderation is taking place, things like that. Um, so we need, um, we will need at least half a dozen people on site who just want to either be in individual rooms at given points in time or are planning just to help out and don't really care about particular sessions um, who are just there just to run the show. Um, last year, that was me. Uh, so anybody that wants to do it, talk to me. I will help you figure that out. Um, I need to go back and I, look I, at our previous shows. Yes. I might reach out to you about that. Uh, I, I know I've, I've mentioned in the GitHub issue that I'm open to take one of the lead roles if, um, if that helps. So if there's no better option, I'm, 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 I will be on site. So uh, I suppose that um, I'm, 
I'm open to it. So if it makes sense and if you don't have uh, any uh, more obvious candidates, I'm, I'm up to it. Fantastic. I will uh, make a note of that. And uh, you say no better candidates, but really the best candidate for something like this is the person who speaks up and shows up. So thank you for volunteering. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will make a note of that in the in the document. Uh, I don't see anyone from the CNCF on board. So I think that's uh, that's all of our major updates for what we need to do as leads right now. Uh, I don't see anyone from the CNCF on the call. Uh, brings us over to next agenda item is content. Jason, got anything to say? Um, not particularly. I'm working on getting confirmation from all the folks that uh, volunteered as shadows in the issue. And from there, we will uh, work as we learn the uh, room layouts that we have and start crafting the um, content plan from there. Yeah. So from the schedule that Bob posted from last time, we have one main room, two side rooms, plus a separate room for sick talks, as it looks like. Yeah, I was looking at that. There's a general session room. There's the two uh, SIG meet and greet rooms, an unconference room, and the doc sprint room. Uh, oh, I yeah, just another to get... unconference room additionally, yeah. And I wanted to get uh, confirmation that that was still the case post pandemic in, in case plans had changed around that. Yeah. It theoretically should be that, um, but yeah, a DM to Deborah Brian can confirm it. All right, great. I'll go ahead and reach out for that. I expect they'll put together a single doc with all the newest information, uh, which also leads to another um, Another point of order, last time around, we had a umbrella issue on GitHub that had been put together by the CNCF. Uh, we don't have that right now. We're just operating up from the meetings and the shared Google Doc. Um, I guess one of us should probably poke the CNCF and see if they want to do that or if we should do it. What's so. in that issue? Yes, or uh, mostly just check boxes and tracking to make sure that everything gets done. Okay. That's the content waiting for room confirmation, waiting for shadow confirmation. Okay. Um, next up. Uh, that's what we had from content. Next up is from comms. Uh, Chris is not on the call, but he did get the save the date email prepped out. Um, anybody that wants to look at it and give feedback, please do so in the summit-staff Slack channel. Um, that is set to go out tomorrow morning. And the website is up uh, kates.dev slash summit. Uh, and that's all I think we have from comms. Let's take a quick look uh, with his updates in the Slack channel. Yep. That's all we got. Uh, next up. Next up is Reg, which we don't have leads for, so nothing is happening yet. Um, we have also it, not opened Reg right yet, right? <laughs> no, we have not opened Reg right yet, um, but we need to get it opened. So yes. if we don't have leads by next week, we're going to have to take some action because we need to get that ideally stood up before the end of the month. I can take the Reg. I'm not sure if Arnold will be willing to do it again, but I can help. I will set awesome. up with Arnold. Mars is here. I did not even see you on the call. Fantastic. Hey. Thanks, Mars. Sure. I'm putting Pleasure. I'm putting Mars under reg. It's officially happening. Your name hey. is in parentheses. Oh no. <laughs> and reg is a good one because you don't have to be on site to do reg. Yep. 
uh, once you sync up with our own, we'll figure out what needs to happen and where, and then we'll talk okay. later this week. Sure. Also check the issue for shadows. Yeah. Um, that brings up an interesting point that we didn't mention earlier. We're letting the leads pick the shadows. Um, just because people have volunteered as a shadow, we've got, you know, something like 25 or 30 people who volunteered as shadows. Um, so if you volunteered for something, if you're one of seven, it doesn't mean that you will necessarily get picked as a shadow. Um, because another faction or another factor of being a shadow is the expectation that you're going to help lead at some point in time. So there is a level of commitment to it. Um, my comment on shadows. Next up, we have celebrations with Xander. Xander's not here and we'll need to review the, um, we'll need to review the options that are in the 2020 doc and see if any of them are still valid, who's where, what companies are still in business, et cetera. Yeah, we, we did a lot of research in 2020 and I think we had, I forget which one we had landed on, um, but yeah, it's at least a good starting point for, you know, for the 2023 search. Awesome. And we did have one person uh Rajesh I believe who is local to the Netherlands uh yes uh Noah. fantastic we are probably going to lean on you to do some recon at some point absolutely I'm uh, happy to help yeah anything yeah. awesome love having a local person uh let's see where are we what's next uh actually I'm gonna make a note of that Rajesh is local. Next up is ops. Um, there's nothing that ops needs to do until the rest of the uh, schedule is hashed out. Um, and then it's a lot of boots on the ground type work. So we can worry about that at a future point in time. The SIG meet and greet. Uh, Kim volunteered to lead the SIG meet and greet. Uh, as I mentioned, I told her to reach out to Josh because he has picked it up in the past. Uh, the fact that we have someone volunteering now instead of three days before is a significant boon. Uh, and hopefully we can get a lot more done with that effort. Um, let's see what else we got next in the list. There's a note from Bob. Status of KCSNA 22 awards, what you got? So um, I don't know if you all remember, but we got the wrong awards shipped to uh, the Contributor Summit. Uh, they were all like January 1st, you know, whatever. And like the vendor said that like they would just like ship things out to the, the people that were getting them. Um, but that sort of rolled right into the holidays. Some people weren't responding. So I mostly like just wanted to like, well, this isn't necessarily relevant to this summit. I just wanted to put that like an item on the recurring agenda to just like make sure we're checking in to you that, that those are getting shipped out. That's good. That's good. I like it. Um, who... Um... Who ran awards last time? Was that Ray? It was Ray, Jay, and me. Mostly awesome. Ray. Okay. Then uh, we'll touch base with Ray to make sure we get the list and ask the award winners. Uh, yeah. uh, Deb and Brianne were working with, I believe, Ray and Nabrun on it. Um, again, it, it just kind of holidays. It happens, uh, but we can we can make a bullet point to follow up on that. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Bob. Uh, the only other thing that I have left uh, is that you know summits are closer than they appear, <laughs> and since we only have about three months 
before this summit happens, we need to start a discussion on shirts and or hoodies and or whatever we're going to give out to the attendees. We already got that from 2020. So the nice. design is already done? It, they're already printed. Like, oh, fantastic. We, we had to, to cancel. Josh did all the artwork. Um, we literally had to cancel, you know, like less than a month before Amsterdam just because of, of the way things were. So the, the only thing that might happen is depending on reg numbers, we might have to order some additional sizes. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, who has them? Uh, the CNCF does. Um, they're with um, Drew and the, the group that, you know, travels to yeah. every, yeah. Every keep okay. Stuff. It's for both uh, staff and non-staff. Um, I don't recall if we had a thing that signified staff versus non-staff in those ones. Okay. We'll probably worry about the staff identifiers separately. Okay. Uh, but this is this is to worry about. Everybody that shows up should be getting a shirt or something. They were T-shirts, correct? Yep. Okay. The, the long sleeves or something? Uh, I, I, I don't I'd know. have to go back and, and something nice. Yeah. If when, if when Josh shows up, you know, he can pull up all the old artwork. Fantastic. Uh, that brings us to the end of our agenda list. That's a short call. Does anybody have anything they would like to say? <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you all for showing up. Thank you all for filling roles as leads as needed. And oh, Bob pasted in the chat what we picked in 2022. So we'll check out that. Yeah, that one's actually and, social, Bob, is it? Yeah, yeah that was mm -hmm. a social location. It was literally a one minute walk from the convention center. Oh, that's fantastic. That is a plan. Hope it's still open. Yeah. But they, they have like, it's a, it was a restaurant slash like just bar, chill place. They had like fire pits to just hang out and talk at and things like that. Perfect. Um, the one, the one thing that stuck in my mind um, after reading the feedback from Detroit was uh, talking about the summit celebration and saying you had masks, people had to get inside and then they got inside and immediately took off their masks and started eating and drink, having drinks and things like that. So I think having a split area is probably a really good well, way to it, do it. It doesn't matter because the masks are optional. They are optional. And we can't enforce a difference because it's the mm. policy that's the enforcing thing. It's true. Uh, but I think for those who want them, um, having a split area is going to appease everyone. Man, there is an outside area, which is definitely... That'll make a big difference. Let's hope for a bit better weather until then. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Very cold right now, yeah. Well, I think that's it. Uh, going once, going twice. Stopping the recording.